What do you think is the importance of predictive analytics? In conversion optimization, we don't think a lot about predictive analytics. As a term, it used to be a lot more popular, I would say about five, six years ago. Nowadays, the popular term is AI, correct? That's, that's what everybody's talking about. But really, if you think about it, ultimately the goal of predictive analytics is using different methods to try and predict certain behaviors in the markets and your visitors that are coming to your site. Whenever you're using predictive analytics, you're either using machine learning or you're using AI as well to try and predict the future. There's this one company that we work with. They're strictly in the apparel space. And what they do is they do this analysis and they combine analysis from all these different brands and how people buy from those brands and an analysis of Instagram, influencers on Instagram to predict. And this is where it's fascinating. What fashion trends are going to be popular in the next six months? So powerful. Imagine if you are the merchandiser and I come to you and tell you, guess what? This particular type of shirt, especially like the, the, they do it really well for ladies. That's what I saw. It's going to be puff like, you know, with this. Okay. I'm not going to embarrass myself, but like, you know, they describe like you know, the color and the pattern and the, and initially I have seen them when they do the demo and people are like hmm, we don't know whether this is correct or not but then three months later they're like oh my god that was so accurate how did they predict that well for you as an e-commerce website this is very powerful because now you're talking about your merchandising as opposed to like you know what the merchandiser is deciding well you have data to start placing orders so that's one side that is very powerful think about it on the customer side of things being able to predict whether somebody is going to churn based on certain behaviors this person and I'm going to oversimplified over here, but then log into our website in a certain time. We expect anybody to place an order within three months. This guy have not logged in over here. So what do we do? Like, you know, how do we encourage them? Otherwise they will churn completely. That can help you keep customers a lot longer. That can help you actually increase your revenue as well. You can use predictive analytics in modeling certain patterns that actually encourage people to convert on the website. That's also another area that's very powerful. Not all companies can afford predictive analytics. Not all companies have the teams to run predictive analytics, but I do think there's enough software out there to help you do some of this work. I mentioned the company that we work with. At the same time, it's a very expensive piece of software. It's like a $10,000 monthly subscription. It has many different modules, but not every company can afford to spend $120,000, $200,000 on just the software. You still need to do a lot of analysis. You need to hire somebody to run that software. So you have to be careful. And let me finish with this where we love to come in as an experimentation company is to say, well, here's what you're predicting. Let's go ahead and A-B test that. Let's see whether that actually helps you increase conversion rate. An example of a recent test is somebody comes into a website. It's an apparel website. Let's say they viewed a couple of items from different categories across the website. I can predict what fashion pieces they like. Imagine you just clicked on two items, you looked at them, and I can actually predict with a 90% confidence, here's how some addresses. And I'm going to show him on the category pages, certain sorting that matches is his preference. And by doing that, guess what? Now Simba all of a sudden falls in love with my website because, oh man, all these items that you're displaying for me on the category page, I love them. I just need to place an order with you. So we're testing that. We're running A-B experiments around that and we see how well, how well it works. Thanks.